we got Seth Wyola board with us. We're going to bring him in. All right, we have about 10 minutes with Seth. Yeah, Seth, I'm sorry we late, boy, but um, I, had a, I had a big one this morning. Yeah, no problem, I realize. Yeah, boy, I had a big one this morning. The man break it down um, in, in, that an eight-year-old could, um, could understand it. All right, so um, this is a very interesting topic. Yeah. I am going to try to pronounce this word. Okay. <laughs> so today's topic is fibrom. That's how, eh? Mm -hmm. Fibro. Just now. Yeah. Fibromaglia? Uh, fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia. Yeah. Okay, F I B R O M Y A L G I A. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. Because so I thought when I see fib, F I B, I thought it's some sickness for lying, you know. So <laughs> <laughs> and you, you know we have some mm -hmm. liars out here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have some serious liars out here, boy. I thought you was mm -hmm. going to deal with that topic, yes? But go ahead, let's hear you. <laughs> All right, so fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia. So well, to first to understand it, let's first break down the, the word itself because it, there are three words, three Greek words that make it up. You okay. have fibro, which means fiber. Uh -huh. You have myo, or what they have as an MY, as short for MYO myo, right. which means muscle. And you have algae, which means pain. So, in simple, it's pain of muscle and connective tissue. All right. Right? That's what the disease is, when people get pain in muscle and connective tissue in the body. So if we go into some of the symptoms of it, because fibromyalgia can affect you, can have pain throughout the entire body, right? right? So while you could have pain in certain areas as well, it can affect any area of the body. So as we see here, we have CNS for central nervous system. So you could start with, you could have issues like chronic headaches, sleep disorders, dizziness, cognitive impairment, memory impairment, anxiety, depression. Mm -hmm. You can have vision problems. You can have a, a joint of jaw, so jaw dysfunction. You could have chest pain. You could have morning sti stiffness in the joints. Mm -hmm. You could have muscle issues. So myo, uh, partial pain, fatigue, twitching, twitching. You have various problems with the skin. You have stomach, so nauseous feeling, reproductive issues. So this menorrhea, um, <clears throat> this menorrhea, which is basically menstrual cramps that women get, which right. is common but not normal because because things are common, people think it is normal. It isn't. So menstrual cramps is actually not a normal thing. You have urinary problems. Urinary problems would cause things like frequent urination or you get leakage, mm -hmm. right? So as I say at the bottom here, systemic symptoms, pain, weight gain, cold symptoms, multiple chemical sensitivity. So you even have where your skin would be sensitive to touch or area sensitive as well. Now this issue is usually in many cases have been misdiagnosed. All right. It has been misdiagnosed because of the fact that there are issues like anxiety and depression and, and these other issues that are... Uh, are psychological so many times people might have been told that their pain may be psychological pain and not real pain but this is an actual condition all right now when it comes to fibromyalgia you have to understand something called fascia right f-a-s-c-i-a fascia f-a-s-c-i-a right fascia is connective tissue in fact the word means bandage or to band all right now fascia covers every single thing in the human body in fact let me um, share my screen here again to to give us a little image of what it is mm -hmm. all right hold on one second let me share the screen here so you remember the other day when i went into muscles yes all right i i pulled up this slide so when we see the muscles here, you see in this outer layer that mm. bands around the muscles? Yes. That would be fascia. Oh, okay. And even individual, when you, when you go into, you see how they call it here, the fascicle? 
Right. What bands are wrong it? Fascia. You go into the individual muscle fibers. What bands are wrong it? Fascia. All right. That is a connective tissue that wraps around every single thing in the body, and they are all interconnected. All right. Mm -hmm. Now that connective tissue, fascia, is a form of collagen. Collagen, which we know is the most abundant protein in the human body. All right. Now let me close the screen here. Mm -hmm. So many people suffer with this chronic issue, fibromyalgia, getting pain all over the body, different parts of the body manifesting in different ways, cognitive issues or whatnot. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind this issue affects women two to four times more than men. Two to, and two to four times more. More. And the age bracket is usually between the ages, or where it's most common, 35 to 50 years of age, where mm -hmm. it's more prevalent. All right, 35 to 50 years. And it stems from you have to understand the importance of things like collagen. And in the past, when we looked at collagen, we saw that collagen is a protein. And it's not about supplementing with collagen supplements because of the simple fact that it's broken down into amino acids, so it's therefore it's not collagen. So if you take a collagen supplement, you're not, it's not going to just turn to collagen. But when you have issues with fascia, it can manifest uh, and cause muscle pain and aches, and you can end up with conditions like fibromyalgia. All right? Okay. Now, fascia is something that only like from 2005 it started to be studied where, you know, people realize that it have this connective tissue, the medical scientific world realizes have this connective tissue that connects everything in the body and it's interconnected in different layers, wraps around organs, skin, bones, every single thing. And this tissue is made up of collagen, which goes back to show the importance of protein consumption. Protein now, consumption. Consumption. Now, if you have, if you notice that your body is losing muscle mass, you know that you are at risk for suffering with a condition like this. Because the mere fact that you're losing muscle mass is an indication that you have nutritional deficiencies. That's why the body is losing muscle mm -hmm. mass. So it's very important to consume the right foods in order to prevent muscle wastage from taking place because then you could have connective tissue damage and that can lead to chronic pain, mental health issues, brain fog, cognitive issues, all of these symptoms, all right, which are not good. When I did this segment on muscles, I showed that your muscles require the majority of all the nutrients that you consume. Therefore, you need to feed the muscles correctly. But you have to be aware of other things that people consume that prevent the body from utilizing protein as it should. Because there are many things that people consume that have things like protease inhibitors yeah. that blocks trypsin and chymotrypsin, which are the two main digestive enzymes for the metabolism of proteins, of amino acids. If those enzymes are being blocked, then even though you are consuming protein, your body is unable to use it as it should. So therefore, you shall get things like muscle wastage, and you would get connective tissues and stuff being unable to heal itself from normal day wear and tear. Now, things like fibromyalgia is triggered, in many cases are triggered from either injury, right? Some medications can trigger it, and even psychological stress. Keep in mind when there's psychological stress, it puts a strain on the nutrients of the body because you are stressing, you are activating the sympathetic nervous system that would cause things in the body to be activated, systems in the body to be activated, and that would cause a quicker diminishing of your nutritional profile in your body. So you have to be eaten correctly in order to prevent these issues from occurring because these are chronic issues. Fibromyalgia is a chronic issue, a chronic pain issue. It is believed to have of course, they love to say no cure. But of course, all these conditions are reversible when you get out of the mindset of thinking that you could only treat or supposed to only treat these conditions through medication, right? The only medication I know is your food. Let thy food be thy medicine and, and thy medicine be thy food. That is supposed to be your only medication, not 
pharmaceutical drugs, not supplements, not tonic, not any of these things. If you eat correctly, you would not have to worry about any of these issues. So it's always better to be preemptive than to be responsive, right? And we tend to, to go along the lines of trying to be responsive, but even if one has to be responsive, you want to get back to eating correctly mm. as the response because disease is simply, all diseases are simply a side effect of a poor diet. Yeah. That's what it is. It's a side effect of a poor diet. Now, many might want to say, well, it's up other environmental poisons and whatnot, whatnot. Yes, yes, those make up a very, very, if people only know the small percentage of illnesses are caused from other things outside of what you eat. And in fact, if people understand this, a lot of environmental poisons would be mitigated when you are eating correctly because because you're, you're eating the right way when you're exposed to those environmental poisons in the small quantities that uh, people are usually exposed to them, your body would be able to handle it and mitigate it, eliminate it as they should. But we are bombarded by eating the vast majority of things that are so unhealthy to our body, many of which people think is healthy, is healthy foods, and that is what caused the problem. And this is one of the reasons why you would see Issues like these affect women a bit more because uh, media, when it comes to marketing, marketing is usually targeted more to women because uh, you find more women being more hypochondriac, meaning they are overconscious about health. Yeah. And that is usually taken advantage of in the, in the um, pharmaceutical marketing and supplement marketing industry. So you'll get more women jump into whatever is being pushed in the media. So you'll see them changing their diets frequently yeah, to all different you see sorts that, of you see stuff. A lot of that in true, you know? Yeah. People so all jumping different from one thing based to the on next, yeah. Based on what's trending. And that there puts you at, at a, a, a more vulnerable place to suffer from a lot of these diseases that are taking wow. place now and becoming more and more chronic. Well, in the past, they were very rare. But, but so this is what we do at, at, at Setwire's Holistic Health Clinic. We educate you. We educate you. You get to understand what you're supposed to eat and why. What's harmful to the body and what's healthy for the body. And you get to see the science behind that. And then the program that I have, which is the health coaching program, I coach your diet for you. That program helps you to gain active practical knowledge with regards to your nutrition because you are being guided and you're seeing how the body is responding to the changes. And based on those response, further guidance and changes to the diet is made. And that uh, leads you it uh, um, leads you to where you are educated enough that you could then handle your diet on your own and therefore you would no longer need my guidance. So that's uh -huh. the program that we have in place at Sedwire's Holistic Health Clinic. It's an interactive approach to healthcare and which is the most effective and efficient approach to healthcare that exists today. Uh -huh. All right. So Seth, um, well, thanks a lot. Can you give me the name of that topic again? Fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia. You just really test me, you know, boy. You just really <laughs> test me. You know, you know um, just before we go, of course, you can contact Seth Viola Board uh, at the Holistic Health Clinic on 7611952. That is 7611952 or 2793935. Uh, 2793935. You can get him on any one of those numbers and you can sign up today. All right. And remember, we're talking about managing your disease rather than reversing it. I'm uh, sorry. We're talking about reversing your disease it's rather disease than managing it.